We're on Loch Erne again today and we're going to do this virtual sea trial video on this 2002 Birchwood 370 Commando. So this boat is fitted with a pair of Volvo Penta CAD 300 stern drives. They're 285 horsepower a piece and they're matched up to dual prop drives. Um, so we're going to get it out on the lake now. We're going to show you how the boat performs, how it handles. We'll do a wee bit of slow speed manoeuvring and we will put it on plane and do a full throttle run as well just try and show you exactly what you can expect from this boat whenever you're underway um, we're actually tied on the other side whenever we did our walk around tour a few days ago we were tied up on the starboard side we're tied in the port side now too so we can get a bit of a better look at the port side ever but it looks just as good as the starboard side really nice looking boat i'm gonna head out onto this other jetty get some photographs of it let's get a nice side profile but yeah i really like this thing Great running boat. She started on the button again for us this morning. She's actually going to be moved into the hoist after this sea trial and she's going to be lifted for the stern drive service as well. Um, so we'll try and get some photographs of that too. But anyway, we're going to jump on board, head out on the lake and see how she runs. Engines are starting and running beautifully as you would have seen in our walk around tour. Um, and I have them running. So we're just looking at all the instruments. So voltmeters are good. I'll just quickly walk you through the dash before we get underway. Voltmeters are good. Oil pressures are good. And they're pretty even uh, on each engine. Temperatures are good as well. Rev counters are working. The depth and speed by data gauge is working as well. Port, uh, starboard engine rev counter. Trim gauges are working. These spoils, the trim tab, indicators uh, don't appear to be working now yeah, i haven't really had much time to investigate that but at the minute i can't seem to get those guys working edc control panels are working fine and this boat has electric flyby wire throttle and shift which is very nice too so gear shift is lovely on them let's just see actually oh and we also have our rudder indicator so let's just see how she rotates if we put one engine ahead and one engine astern. Yeah, she does rotate pretty well. So that's her, we're spinning her in her length. I'm just gonna spin her around and uh, head this other direction here. Visibility is good. Big windscreen wipers do a good job of clearing the screens, even in fairly incessant rain here that we have at the minute. And these big side windows are excellent. Actually, they've got a nice little tint to them as well. So you can see out. Let's just stop her rotating now. Bow thruster is also working perfectly too. So, throttle and shift. Controls, the steering's nice and light. Everything about this boat does feel really good. Obviously, she's benefited from having such low use. You know, so there's so few hours in this boat. It really has done the world of good. Um, so, if we're just cruising along here at like a thousand RPM per engine, we're doing about four knots and we've got zero wash. So if you're cruising around the inland waterways, you can take it, you can even take it up to around about six or seven knots without creating any wash. But whenever you want to get underway, that's us doing 6.2 knots. But whenever you want to get up on the plane, it takes off like a rocket. This is a fast boat, plenty of horsepower, and it's performing really well. So let's put her on plane now to show you how quickly she gets up there. You don't lose sight of the horizon. Nose comes down pretty quickly. Us running at about 2800 rpm, we're doing 22 knots. This is 
going to be a comfortable cruising speed. angle too she sits sort of nice and level in the water you don't lose sight of the horizon whenever it's going on plane either um, and as I said visibility out of her even on a fairly poor day like today is really good so there you go the boat is doing everything it's supposed to do and she has all the power that you would want on tap with a with a nice sports cruiser and she's also pretty well mannered in the marina too whenever it comes to bringing her alongside in your marina berth. One other test that I like to do on a twin engine boat like this is, um, let's just spin it around actually while I'm talking to you. Um, one, one test that's good to do on a twin engine boat when you're sea trailing is uh, just leave one, one engine in idle forward and give it full throttle on the other engine just to check what the revs go up to and then reverse it so you do the same same test on the on the second engine so you just what you want to look for is that both engines are matching out at the same rpm 
So that'll tell you basically if you have a, a weaker engine than the other one. But what you want to do is make sure that they're both pulling equally. So we're just in forward gear idle. I'm gonna full throttle, I'm gonna go full throttle on the port engine first of all here. So full throttle. Up to 2300 rpm, so now we want to repeat the process on the starboard engine and see does she do the same. They're both pulling the exact same. There might have been maybe 25 or 30 RPM more on the starboard engine, but to all intents and purposes, that could be gauge error. Um, they sound identical. They're both revving out to 2300 RPM. So both engines are pulling evenly, which is always a real good test to do on a twin engine boat as well. So there you go. That's the virtual sea trail done on the Birchwood 370 Commando. The more time that I spend on this boat, the more impressed I am by it. And, and it really is in incredibly good condition. It's running perfect. Everything's working by the trim tabs, and I'm, I'm fairly sure I'm probably doing something wrong because everything else in the boat works, so I'm sure that the owner would have had those working too. Uh, he couldn't join us here today, but everything else is fully operational. The engines are running as sweet as enough. They're starting on the button. They're pulling evenly, port and starboard motors. It cruises at sort of slow speed, four to six knots, super quiet, super comfortable, um, which given today's price of diesel is maybe what you'll be doing a lot of the time, especially if you're using it on inland waterways. But if you do want to get somewhere in a hurry, it'll, a fast, nice, comfortable, fast cruise is about 28, or sorry, 2800 RPM and about 21 knots, which is a good fast cruise as well. And then flat out, it's running at 34 and a half to 35 knots at around about I think it was 3800 or 3700 RPM. I forgot to look actually at the gauges. I was more looking for fisher boats, fishing boats and making sure we were going to run, it, run anybody over. But um, the boat's performing really well. Very fast boat. Um, performance is great. And she runs nice and level. She does respond well to stern drive trim as well. Um, and you can get her set up nicely just to run at the angle you want and the speed that you want as well. So great running boat fully operational, controls are nice, and uh, yeah, we would welcome any inspection, survey, sea trial, and I really don't think you're going to be disappointed by this boat in, uh, in any way, so hopefully that's given you a good idea how this Birchwood 370 Commando with the twin Volvo Penta CAD 300 engines performs underway. 285 horsepower piece matched up to dual prop stern drives. Um, hope you found the video useful, thank you very much for watching. While I'm here and the boat has been lifted out, I just thought I'd take a quick opportunity to show you what the stern drives look like. I know we took a look at these below the water with the wee underwater camera, but it's always nice to see them in the flesh. So props are perfect. They are the Volvo Penta Dual Prop. What size are these boys? They are C5, C5 props. So perfect condition, counter rotating stainless steel. There's a new, I think she's getting, the anodes are pretty good condition actually, I don't know if they're getting changed. She's definitely getting the stern drive oils changed and they're going to inspect the bellows, but I think they're in pretty good condition. They look pretty good to me anyway. So these stern drives are going to be getting serviced in the next couple of days. These props here, also perfect. Skegs and things are unmarked. Really nice condition. Trim ram seals and all look good. And those bellows and... and water hoses and stuff all look nice trim tab anodes are also good yeah it's this boat is in super super condition the anti-foiling paint is in good nick as well and the hull bottom looks smart so it's always nice to get a real good look around the boat whenever you can 
Um, so those stern drives are going to be serviced and then that's the full boat engines and drive all completely serviced. As I said, this would normally be part of the walk around video, but it's part of our sea trail video today.